what's going on healing vibe crew this is your girl okay nisa and we're about to do a weekly collective reading okay so i welcome you all to my youtube channel and this is going to be for january 7 through january the 13th this is a collective read okay we're going to see what messages insight what needs to be delivered for our highest good attunement knowing all right you all let's go ahead and get into it all right so i was feeling and i seen transformation okay i see transformation changes positive changes don't be discouraged don't allow yourself to be and feel held back this is the time to dream spirit wants you to dream okay the crown chakra is here in the reverse. Okay, the crown chakra came up. Discontentment and boredom is also here. Okay. Disruption is also here. So you're as I mentioned, holding yourself back. Don't allow yourself to be held back. Don't allow your discomfort and your boredom to keep you unmotivated. I really feel like there is a need of awakening some form of create creativity, some form of productivity, um, organization, um, having a standard in how you deliver things, how you create things, do things. Um, there needs to be some type of pattern, rhythm, you know, the crown chakra here is letting you know that there's something that you have to push through, an, a hurdle. You may not have the ability, you may have not um, been motivated, you could have possibly experienced some form of loss, um, some form of sudden eruption that may have caused um, uncertainties or um, doubt, anxiety, and um, discomfort but it's temporary don't allow those things to keep you um inside um of that place longer than you need need to be inside of that place okay this is a collective read for january the 7th through the 13th okay so i feel a shift in a perspective with the crown chakra okay um a spiritual awakening Okay, we have seven here. We have 16, which is seven in the number four. Five, four, that's even a nine. So yeah, there's going to be some change. There's going to be some completion, all right, in yourself. So don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Um, underneath the deck, I see it peeking out over here. There's the recognition and reward. So, you know, even if you are not um, where you want to be or you know, getting to where you see yourself, just know that it's coming. You may have to explore a creative way. You may even have to do something a bit different. Um, you may have to sharpen your skill, learn some things, do some research, um, get out of the box, change your net with your network, with the people that you connect with, with the things that you listen to. Don't be afraid to learn something new, try something new, experience something new. Um, explore your, um, I'm getting your inner child, allow your inner child to, um, explore and, and get, be free and get out of the routine. Or how can I say, you know, when they say that you can't teach a new dog, new old dog, new tricks, or people get stuck in their ways and things of that nature. Don't allow yourself to, um, put yourself in a certain type of way. Like it's too early. It's don't give. It's not time to give up, and it's time to continue to believe. Don't stop believing in yourself. You know. Let's see what other message for the collective, please. Uh, accelerated motion. I love that. Okay. 
What else do they need to know at this time? What do we need to know? Have faith in yourself, okay? Don't stop believing in yourself. <sighs> okay, so awareness is here. And awareness near the um, crown chakra here is also letting us know that it's, it's time for you to be aware of where you are, what's happening, um, what's new strategy, being observant of the situations of where you're looking to go what you're looking to um to attract to yourself where do you look seem to be i really feel like it's um like a jigsaw puzzle for some some could be just be coming out of a um a, a dream state um or from a place where they may not have um been more realistic and coming from that um, unrealistic place to a reality that is bringing this awareness to your foundation, to your self-discovery, um, to bring about more solutions, okay, to situations here. All right, let's see what else. Let's see, I think I want to try another deck. Um, let's try something else here. So this is just a general. Take what resonates, leave what don't, okay, honey child? Leave what does not. Let's see. Okay, everything isn't for everyone, but let's see what messages we have. So if you are a person who is seeming to be a little bit shooken up, you know, you may have overspent, an unexpected finance may have come in or something unexpected that you may not have planned for, planned for or seen coming happen, um, something that brought you back down to surface. You know, don't allow yourself to get trapped in your emotions, but allow yourself to explore creative avenues and research and diligence in yourself and trust in yourself that you can conquer this. You can get through this. You know, you have the ability to stay focused on solutions. OK, stay active and productive on solutions this week. What other advice do we have for the collective spirit? All right. Spirit is telling you that you are protected. We have protection here so you are protected my love you also have patience is here so yeah be patient in this situation okay this is for you to be more attentive to your decision making to your action makings and just to have some type of um security and safety in the things that you do you also have the hope card Okay, so be hopeful during these transitions, be hopeful during these awareness, be hopeful um, with what's to come for you, okay, because you are protected, you do have energy around you that is protecting you, that is wanting the best for you, so don't move too quickly, don't act too uh, abruptly, and just allow your time to inhale, exhale, breathe, chill a bit, you know, and don't get too caught up in your emotions during this time. Spirit is letting you know we have the achievement card here. So Spirit is letting you know that just chill, get your crystals, chill out. You have the achievement here. You will overcome this. You know, this is something that um, you are going to heal through, okay? It is going to work through. You are going to get through this, okay? So during this week, just stay motivated. Stay motivated. Stay aware. Stay um, aligned. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Stay aligned with your emotions. Okay. Stay aligned with your emotions and be truthful with yourself. Be truthful with your feelings. Okay. Um, collective. Um, you are here to do great things, right? You are a great person, and this is not happening to you. It's happening for you for a divine purpose of awareness and um, motivation strength and all okay so that's an information for the collective um let's see what other guidance we can get for the collective so that was a general all right for the collective again take what resonates leave what does not let's look into some um Let's look into finances for the collective for the week of the 7th through the 13th. Let's look at finances for the collective. All right, this is for the collective. It's the 17th, 7th through the 13th for the collective. Thank 
thank you and career we don't do now we make money moves i'm hearing money moves it's going to be some money moves for the collective okay money moves so just make sure you are making the proper moves decisions of being aware for what's to come okay prepare plan save invest and investing doesn't have to be financially you could just be invested in a skill set a business um a way to work more smarter allow things to happen fluently properly okay these cards wants to come up we want to go ahead with this financially we have the seven of pinnacles okay so money move time right finances um there could be things that you could be waiting for a raise you know you could be waiting for those ideas to penetrate you know investments um thinking you need to know or have a niche you know if you are looking to have a business don't let over thinking or procrastination spirit is saying um stop you from doing you you know you are your brand you are your brand you know don't allow over thinking to stop you from presenting what it is that you need to present to the world because you have a calling you have gifts you have things that will make you shine glow you have a product you are the product and spirit this week financially is telling you to don't be afraid okay don't be afraid because there is something waiting for you but you're allowing yourself to be you know overthinking and um and I, what i feel is like there's i'm getting some form of self-hate or insecurity that is making you feel like you have to overcompensate in certain areas when you just have to just exist spirit just wants you to ex exist put the energy into what it is that you need to do authentically genuinely um spirit wants you to work um much more like smarter and i feel like things are going to be coming to you um like you you putting this energy into what it is you want to do is going to make things come to you like easier it's going to come to you easier like um like i'm here i'm, I'm here getting receiving that working smarter you know um because and i feel like it's going to enrich a, a emotion of um of joy of happiness you know um, I feel like something is going to come together for you. Something that you didn't realize that you needed or you lacked or a piece of something is going to click. It's going to click. It's going to motivate you. You're going to be, you're going to be recognizing this gift that's been here and wanting you to receive that piece that's been missing this whole entire time that's been here that you're going to realize is a gift. And that's why spirit in the general was telling you to be mindful and aware and using your um, your crown chakra, which is a different perspective, okay? This different perspective that's going to motivate you, that's going to get you to realize the blessing that you have that's been missing. So spirit is like, yo, you've been relying so much on, you know, whatever this is your will, but, you know, spirit is saying, we're here to help you. We're here to help you. We're here to help you. You know, we're here to make sure that everything gets completed and to make sure that things get done, right? So I feel like a lot of the hesitation when it comes to your finances, your financial, I'm getting more, this more so feels for creatives and entrepreneurs, mainly creatives. Um, you know, I feel like you're going to be making business moves. We don't dance now. We make money moves, right? I feel like there's going to be some money moves that is going to be happening here. There's going to be no more stalling, okay? No more stalling. No more wishing, waiting. It's just all about getting it, okay? So you guys are going to be getting it collective. Spirit is telling you to nothing is too small. Nothing is too little, okay? It's what it's giving. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too little for this week. And that um, it's important for you to be truth truthful to who you are truthful to what it is that you're doing okay all right let it out underneath the deck was the moon card okay so yeah let your let yourself shine you know let your true emotions and your creativity like your vulnerability shine vulnerability is, is the energy what i feel in creatively for the week okay for the collective all right collective so let's go ahead now and look into love for the collective for um 
the week of July 7th through the 13th, okay? This is a collective reading, so take what resonates with you. If you've been here um, this long, make sure you are liking, hearting, sharing, following. Um, let me know that you are here. I truly appreciate the support. All right, so let's get it, okay? Let's get these readings, y'all. This is for love for the collective for the week of july 7th through the 13th okay let's see what's good what's happening with the collective when it pertains to love relationships okay love relationships this is a collective this is for the collective single married relationships this is the collective as far as what is your personal connection, okay? Let's see what spirit has when it comes to relationships and love for the collective. We have moments, okay? So think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. I'm also getting, if you're single, you know, take moments to just appreciate little things, the simple things, and, and those that are coupled, those that are in marriages, take moments to appreciate the simple things. Um, taking moments to go out and get fresh air, you know, your favorite, learn a, a different herb or, you know, just take some time to like have an intimate conversation, get updated on what it is that um, you guys did throughout the week or just taking some time to get out of the grind, get out of your head. Get out of your, you know, yourself to just take a moment to um, connect with others, connect with your family, the ones that love you, you know, your your people. We also have let go. All right. So sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe things work things out in divine timing. So um, we were talking about um, the crown and we were talking about um yeah, the crown chakra, and there was another chakra, I don't recall, but um, it's basically about the creativity. It's about the creativity and letting go of the doubt, okay? And Spirit is saying, this is your sign. This is your sign, so watch out for signs. So that's why that crown chakra is letting you know that these messages and these connections, it's going to be much deeper than what things are, how things are being said or given, relayed, um, discussed, any of that. Okay, you're going to have to get out of your self. You're going to have to experience it. You're going to have to be a become a vessel. You're going to have to let go. You're going to have to be free. You have to get into the shadows, okay? You have to get into the supernatural world. You have to enjoy those um moments, and I feel like that's going to also increase your creativity. It's going to increase your creativity. It's going to increase, you know, your purpose. Okay, um, you have the hard card here. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you're to place when you are together. So that's good. I feel like those moments are going to bring more happy, more joy into you. You also want to get an unexpected surprise. Okay, you may be about to be surprised about something. So wow, yeah. Even if it's simply just you know having um, a joyous moment or being able to let go of things that keep you confined and in the shadows, getting out of the shadows, right? And embracing your internal, your creativity, your peace, your love, collective, let's go, okay? It's time, it's time to bond with yourself, it's time to bond with your spirits, your guides, your ancestors, the helpful positive energy and, uh, energy and spirit that surrounds you and that waits for you, okay? All right, so this is the message that I have for the collective for the week of uh, January 7th through the 13th. If you are here with me, you know, let a girl know you are here. Let me know what's up. You know, show some love if you like. I appreciate you guys, but if you guys like the content, just let me know what's up. If you guys would like to see more collective, um, I would love to know that, okay? I'll see you guys around. Leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. Bye.